Ryan Lindley has NFL talent, but that doesn't guarantee NFL stardom. Two years after being drafted by the Cardinals in 2012, Lindley's biggest highlight came wearing another man's jersey. He was in a commercial with teammate Larry Fitzgerald, but as a placeholder for Andrew Luck, who'd be added in later with CGI. Some guys are stars. Lindley was a stand-in. It was Larry basically shopping on his phone, and then the whole time he's on his phone, we're throwing him passes, and he's grabbing one-handed catches. Andrew's superimposed in there, and I'm filling in for him while Larry's catching the balls. There's a part where, like, the right side of my body is in it. The blurry version of the 12 in a Colts uniform. Uh, that, that was me. Late in 2014, the Cardinals didn't have the option of digitally inserting a star after their top two quarterbacks were hurt. Suddenly, the stand-in was the starter. Now I'm playing, you know, one of the best defenses in the NFL in a playoff game. I'm going to do something very few people in, on this planet have ever gotten to do. Hey, let's get it, baby. Lindley was living every backup's dream. Play fake. Lindley throws back in the end zone. Wide open as fouls. He caught it. Touchdown. Before long, the dream became a nightmare. In trouble. Throws to the right. And he throws an interception. you got to be kidding me. It was a whirlwind. There's a lot of throws I'd like back. Sorry, guys. There's a rest on you, brother. There's two of them. Hey, that's two out of 60 plays, bro. You look back at the, the, it's not that much younger version of yourself, but a little bit younger, and uh, you feel for the guy, man. I mean, you, uh, it, it hurts, and um, you just remember what was going through your head then, and it's just frustrating that I had an opportunity like that and, and kind of let it slip away. There are only so many opportunities in the NFL. The Cardinals let go of Lindley in the offseason, and after the Patriots released him in the 2015 preseason, the phone stopped ringing. Uh, somewhat ready to, to be done with ball. If I go a whole year with nothing, the writing's kind of on the wall. Uh, I'm not going to be that guy who's, who's telling my wife, I got, I got one more year in me. Each week without a call brought Lindley closer to hanging them up. Finally, five days before the end of the season, the Colts needed a quarterback, and the stand-in found himself in a familiar spot. The PR guy in Arizona had sent over a picture to remind me, like, hey, here, here you're doing it again. You know, you did it a year ago, and, and here you are again filling in for 12. Life comes full circle. Snap is to Lindley again. Steps up, looks, he's going to throw, and it is caught at the goal line. Let's see, is it a touchdown? Yes! Lindley looked great. This offseason, Lindley answered a different kind of call. My agent brought up private quarterback coaching and asked me if I'd be willing to, to coach their guys in the draft. And, and, you know, unbeknownst to me at the time, it was, it was going to be Carson Wentz and Jared Goff. Thank you. Lindley bonded with the prospective top two picks over basketball and had to go one-on-one -on -one with some old fears. Let's go. I remember going into both their pro days, having moments of doubt, like, man, I've never done this before. Their agents are trusting me to do this. They're trusting me to do this. Their families are trusting me to do this. And everybody's watching this. So it's kind of, you know, to go back to the Carolina game, it's like, here it is all over. Like, but you know what? Bruce Arians. Carson Palmer, Tom Brady, Andrew Luck, Bill Belichick. That's good job. You got to protect the ball there. Good try. Gosh, man, I've, I've been exposed to some 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 really great people, um, great football minds, and started realizing like, hey, you know, I, I actually probably do have a lot to give these guys in a in a form of experience. So let's just go let it rip. And obviously, it didn't work out as well in the Carolina game as it did for Jared and Carson. The Colts kind of helped me renew my flame of football. 
And then these guys kind of threw some gas on that just to see how much they loved it and how much they loved attacking it every day. You can lose that if you get beat down by the system of professional football. They kind of put me in check with that and, uh, and brought me back to the reasons that, that I love playing football. We just need to play good on offense. We get a little better each week. Coach Burner's happy, because that's at the end of the day. Number one thing I've learned in life in football, if the head coach is happy, everyone's happy. That's good. Ryan Lindley has talent. Maybe he's meant to use it to help others get the most out of theirs, whether they're top draft picks or kids from his San Diego area high school. In the meantime, the stand-in will be standing by. I'll go wherever I'm wanted. If it's over today or if it's over in 10 years, I'm proud of what I've done as a football player.